Any health-related information on the following show provides general information only. Content presented on any show by any host or guest should not be substituted for a doctor's advice. Always consult your physician before beginning any new diet, exercise, or treatment program. Welcome to Accelerated Health Radio and TV. I'm your host, Sarah Banta. I'm a health coach, natural supplement expert, and a busy mom of three teenagers. I believe that your body wants to and is capable of rebuilding and healing itself regardless of what chronic disease you may have. And I'm here for you to answer your questions and bring you innovative and cutting edge technology and health solutions to empower you and your ability to reach your optimal state of health. Today, I am so excited. My guest will be talking about turning around your health physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. You can't just attack one of those four. And I know that you really need that strong physical foundation to work on your mental growth and vice versa. Whether it's overcoming anxiety and depression, losing weight, or detoxing your body in the proper way, and even increasing your level of frequency in life, You need a strong physical foundation of health in order to gain the willpower to make the bigger changes in life. If you're new to following me, I specialize in helping you get there. You can find my health articles, my cutting edge natural supplements, devices, and protocols at acceleratedhealthproducts.com. I dive into an array of health conditions, their symptoms, their causes, and how to address them naturally. And I have spent thousands of dollars and hours of my time biohacking different supplements, technologies, and diets that don't work so that you don't have to. If you have any health issues you need help with, you can email me directly through the website. I personally read everyone. Accelerated Health Products is the sponsor of the show. So as you support my website, I'm able to bring you more cutting edge content and guests to the show. Today, as I mentioned, we're going to be diving in on how your mental, emotional, and spiritual health can help you heal physically and the benefits of living in a higher state of vibration or frequency as a result. So first, I want to talk about my monthly free group coaching that comes with the Accelerated Ascent Diet Cleanse. We start the first Monday of every month, so it's time to order your cleanse and get ready for the next group. It's so comprehensive and successful. It's blowing my mind. I knew it was going to work, and I've been doing this stuff for over 15 years, but the results I'm seeing in my group is just beyond exciting. It feeds my soul. So what have they experienced? Easy fat loss for those stubborn pounds the loss of the dangerous visceral fat, which is the kind around your belly and your organs that actually cause disease, increased and sustained physical energy, mental focus, that brain fog goes away, better bowel movements. You need to be going to the bathroom two to three times a day. You have to. Decreased appetite and ability to intermittent fast for up to 22 hours, even some are getting up to three days. No issues, their cravings for sugar and carbs go away, clearer skin, whiter eyes, better sleep, which most people have an issue with, less moodiness, improved cellular permeability, which is something I talk a lot about called phase angle. That means the ability of the cells to let the toxins out and the nutrients come in. And that increases your risk uh, or decreases your risk for disease. So it's really important. And at the end, everyone does a cleanse, a a gallstone and liver cleanse where the gallstones come out of the body safely and into the toilet. And most people are able to get off at least some, if not all of their medications. So join us. We start June 7th for the next group. It's time to order your supplements now, just in time for for summer and bloat goes away. I mean, I have a before and after picture I'm going to put up soon that is just beyond what you would even imagine. 
And the difference between me and other group coaching is I provide the most cutting edge frequency enhanced supplements that work synergistically with each other. And your body does not experience those flu like symptoms. You feel great day one. And what I've seen with clients is how they gain their power back in relationships and work. And they have the energy to live at that higher state of frequency without the anxiety and depression that they were suffering on. So if you're interested, leave a comment below and check it out on the website. If you don't know if it's right for you or not, just email me. I'm happy to, to give you your own personalized protocol and tell you if it's right for you or if there's something else that's more appropriate. So now to the good stuff. Arno Gorin is the founder of Total Health Mastery, the world's most scientifically advanced health education system in existence today. And after being told by his doctors that he would never recover and would certainly die, he cured himself of several incurable diseases and went on to design the seminar series that changes and saves lives. Clients of his program regularly achieve results in, that most people would consider impossible. He's the inventor of the seven-step reprogramming yourself, the five-step step emotional eraser, and how to cleanse the body with without cleansing reactions, and lastly, how to overcome addictions without willpower. Welcome, Arno. How are you this morning? Good morning, Sarah. Thank you for having me on your show. I'm doing great. How are you? I'm great. I'm super excited. I mean, even just this last week, I was experiencing experiencing some sort of, I'm always working on my health, right? And I take all the right supplements. I I do the right diet, I exercise, I focus on my sleep, I'm doing all these right things. Um, but stress or some sort of emotional issue can cause a blockage in my body and I can feel it and think, oh, well, I wonder if I need more liver pills or I need, if I ate something wrong or whatever, when it's just emotional. And as soon as I meditate on it, I pray about it and I successfully let it go, if I can do that, it goes away and it's magic. So before we really get into the details of your programs, I want to tell everybody about your story because it's real easy for someone to come and, and lecture about how to do certain things, but no one's going to really believe you unless you've gone through it yourself. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, both my parents are deaf and they had a terrible crack cocaine addiction from the time I was eight until I was 19. And believe me, it wasn't great before that. And during that time, I experienced all sorts of trauma and neglect that no one should ever go through. Verbal abuse, emotional abuse, physical abuse, <clears throat> starvation. It's a, it's a long list of, of horrors, really. It was like living in hell. And I just kept holding on, believing someday my life would get better. And I pretty much spent my childhood trying to get my parents off the drugs. And when I got into my early 20s, I found that I was so sick and so just destroyed in every way from that experience that I needed to figure out how to make myself better. So I decided to go to medical school. I got accepted to John Bastier Naturopathic University, but I was literally too sick to go to school anymore. And my last naturopath, Dr. Molly Linton, said, Arno, if you don't do something different soon, you're not going to be around much longer. I was only 22 years old. So I did what you did. I started praying and asking God what I should do. And soon I discovered a whole different realm of nutrition. And within six months, there was nothing wrong with me. But during that six months, I began to have all kinds of emotions coming up for seemingly no reason. But I knew what it was. It was just a giant, I mean, I mean, giant backpack of bricks of emotional pain I had been stacking throughout my whole childhood. And I needed to find a way to get rid of them. So as I went into the world and looked for experts and looked for books and ways to get rid of the emotional trauma permanently, what I found was the belief that it's impossible. But luckily for myself, I had trained martial arts with a great master and I learned there's no such thing as impossible. So I just kept researching and looking for a way to remove those bricks of emotion permanently. And it didn't take that long in the large scope of things, but to me it was a while. In 2003, I finally figured out how to permanently release the old trauma of the past. At the time, I called it permanent transformation. And now my team wants me to call it the Garand technique because there's nothing else like it. And there's people using the word reprogramming. 
-hmm. and it doesn't really reprogram you. What we're doing is actually erasing the old pain, whether it's fear, anger, sadness, whatever you want to describe that pain as, it's gone. You can think about what happened to you and you don't feel anything anymore. It's actually gone forever. So that's just a little bit of what happened to me. And then I started teaching people what I had done for myself just because people would ask me. And I found myself coaching 20 hours a week for free. So I started developing a training program. And before I knew it, I was teaching groups of people and people would come up on stage and give the most remarkable, mind-blowing testimonials. I mean, it would make me want to cry, the things people would say. And that just became my complete focus, my mission, my vision. It's been like that for 20 years now. And I can't even begin to tell you how many times people have cried and hugged me and thanked me for saving their life. And all they wanted to do was help people not to be in pain like I was. I, was, I just don't think people should suffer the way that I did. And now that we have solutions, people need to know about them. So a couple things. Number one, just because of the nature of your job, you have to talk about your emotional past, right? So as you're talking about it, does it not trigger any emotions or um, bring up any, you know, negativity in you now? Well, you don't hear it in my voice, right? When I first no. was learning to teach, I, I, I tutored all through college. I taught martial arts. Then I took all kinds of trainings on teaching. I wanted to master the art of teaching. That's what I do. I teach. And the hardest thing for me to do was to talk about myself and my own personal story. I would get so triggered by that. So I had to work on that for a while. And I've gotten to the place now that I can talk all about my whole life and you probably won't see me get triggered at all. Um, it's the same thing with clients. You know, I've had uh, people on stage who wanted to erase their rape trauma or their PTSD from being in a war. And you know, when, when a woman is really mad at a man because her dad and her brothers and people raped her, I'm okay. I can stand there and help her process through that and have it all disappear without getting triggered myself. And that's something that everyone who wants to work with people in a one-on-one -on -one capacity need to do, is you gotta work on yourself so you can stay neutral and stay in that compassion state so you can help people. So I have talked to somebody on my show before about ay ayahuasca and plant medicine. And that really is the only other avenue that I've heard of where you can release some of this emotional trauma and talk about repressed memories or um, situations from the past without being triggered again. So it's really interesting that you are you have this program where you can do it without the plant medicine. And, you know, for those listening, and I had mentioned the Ascent Diet Cleanse that I do, um, at the end of it, the last two weeks, we do a, a liver flush and you take some supplements to start cleansing the liver and then you release the stones at the end. And during the two weeks of prep, I warn everybody because as they're cleansing their liver, they're cleansing their anger and their frustration and the emotions that are stored in the liver. Fear is stored in the kidneys. So our organs and every tissue in our body is holding on to emotions, not just toxic um, environmental toxins or dietary toxins. It's, there's the emotional toxicity too. And I just had someone um, text me this morning saying how emotional she was. And she actually went to bed early just to get rid of the emotions. She wanted to cry. And is this normal? And I said, absolutely. I actually don't want to be around my husband when he is going through his liver cleanse because he's got his anger that's coming out or and same with me and I get triggered. But then after you do the flush, you feel this release. And it's because your physical and your emotional, mental and spiritual bodies are all connected. So with that being said, why don't we talk about the four elements? And I'd love to actually go through the steps that you um, take someone through. Okay, great. Well, first of all, I just really want to acknowledge you, Sarah, and some of the things you've said really speak to my heart because I've been saying them for many years, like believing that your body really can repair itself no matter what your situation is and how the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual are all interconnected. It's so true. And a lot of us in our culture today know that the mind affects the body. People pretty much generally accept now that their thoughts have an impact on their body but they don't often realize that the body affects the mind just as much. Mm -hmm. All four parts of us, physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual, are integrated, and if you work on one, the other three will have a huge, tremendous transformation as well. 
And your example was perfect. When you flush stones out of the liver and gallbladder, you're releasing the toxic chemicals of emotion that are stored in there because you're right, our body does do that. And so then you, you're healing emotionally and physically, but that's going to have an effect on your thoughts and on your energy. So we can call it spiritual energy. You're going to look brighter. People are gonna say, did you get your hair cut? And you're like, no, I just did a liver gallbladder flush. Yeah, that's why I look at them, right? It's literally affecting your energy field. And so they're all interconnected. And my basic philosophy of working on myself or working on others is if you have a challenge, you, you wanna find the root cause. I'm a medical intuitive. We also teach muscle testing and there's technologies you can use to find root cause. Why is it there? And you have to look at all four parts, physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual. If you're just doing a blood test or an MRI, you're only looking at the physical. What about the emotional, mental, and spiritual root causes? And once you've found the root cause or causes, because there can be many root causes for any particular challenge, then you have to have the right tools to address those causes. Can I give you an example? Please. So I was teaching the seven steps course, uh, which is now called the Goran Technique. It's the intro three-day weekend where I teach people how to remove the emotional, mental pain from the past permanently. And Jennifer Powdermaker came up to me on the first day during the break and she said, I don't know if I can sit in my chair. My shoulder hurts so much, I don't know if I can actually sit in the chair and attend the course. I really wanna learn this. She said, can the seven steps help me with my shoulder pain? And I said, maybe. I said, if the root cause is mental, then yes, because it works on the unconscious mind. It doesn't work on the physical root causes, the emotional root causes, or the spiritual root causes. It works on the mental. That's what that tool does. I said, so let's find out if you have any percentage of your root cause on the mental level. And I said, do you have any negative emotion when you think about your shoulder being in pain? She says, yeah, I have a lot of fear. She said, I was in three accidents and I have fear when I think about them. I said, okay, so what you have there is a repeating pattern. And so the fear is actually the cause of the pattern. That's why you attracted that happening to you three times. So why don't you erase the fear and let's see what happens. And then we'll know what percentage of the root cause is mental. So she came back to me because at the end of the first day, you can start erasing things. And she said, okay, after I erased the fear, 80% of the pain went away. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, so that means the root cause was 80% mental. The other 20% is gonna be spiritual, emotional, or physical. And then we just need to figure out what that is and use the right tool or tools for the last 20%. And yeah, she attended the rest of the course. Wow. I mean, I, it's just, it's so intertwined, but these stories are, they never um, surprise me. And it's just the the, the connection and this is just it, it's like i've been on this journey of learning how to strengthen my physical body through diet exercise all the the right things right and then now it's i'm in this period where i'm learning vast amounts of um tools to heal the emotional and spiritual body and the mental body and how it's so intertwined and teaching it to my children and i don't know if you've noticed but I feel like kids are so much more intuitive and than us adults, just they in general, or maybe it's just my three kids. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but it's just, they're, they're a lot more open to that. And maybe it's because they haven't been so ingrained in the, the thoughts that you, it's all physical. Maybe that, maybe that's the issue. Let's um, talk about relationships. You talk about how you can improve your relationships, but more importantly, improve the relationship with yourself, which is something that I personally am trying to teach my children, of course, as far as uh, self-confidence and self-esteem is such a big issue. So let's talk about that. Okay. Well, if you can take one rule into account, all of your relationships will get better. And here is the one rule of relationships. Nobody can make you feel anything. You're responsible for all of your own feelings. Every single thought you think creates biochemicals in your brain that we call emotion. And no one can control what your thoughts are. Your perspective is yours. What people say and do doesn't make you think anything, doesn't make you feel anything. It just triggers your own stuff to work on. And if you can take that perspective, then you'll see every relationship in your life, including yours with yourself, 
as an opportunity to heal and grow through whatever issues you haven't worked on for yourself. Now, it is challenging to take that perspective and live it all day, every day as second nature. But if you practice doing it consciously, it will become second nature so that when your husband pisses you off, you don't snap. You go, oh, thank you for triggering me. <laughs> Let me go erase that right now. <laughs> so I don't dump it on you because it's not about you. It's not because of you. You're just pushing a button that was already there. And if you can take that perspective, you'll be so incredibly empowered. And I have a story I've got to tell you. Is that all right? Please. So the last live in-person course we did uh, for the seven steps was taught by one of my students, uh, Vangelis, but I was there to watch and support. And on the uh, second day in the morning, there was this gal, Christy, that was partnered up to practice doing the, the seven steps, the grand technique, and erase something. And she had missed Friday night because she had to go, she was a photographer, she had a big shoot at the Staples Center. So she said, I, I can't do this. And I said, it's because you missed yesterday. She's like, no, I think I'm understanding it. The problem is that um, I need to work on my relationship with my husband. We're getting a divorce and he's not here. And he's the problem. He's very negative and I can't work on him. So that I, I can't do this. And I said, well, how does it make you feel that he's so negative? And I said, that makes me very angry. I said, okay, where do you feel the anger in your body? Well, right here in my heart. Okay. And what size is it? Well, it's like a big basketball. Okay, Christy. If you could erase that anger, would that make you feel better? Well, yeah. So why don't you do that? Are you, are you willing to erase your anger? And she said, yeah, I'll do that. Really amazing, right? Because she took responsibility and said, I'll work on my own anger. So I left her and her partner to work on that. The next morning, Sunday morning, she comes in. And she's like, I have to share. I have to share. I have to share. And I said, okay, Vangelis, Christy really wants to share. Can you let her share before we get started? So she comes up on stage and she gets on the microphone and she tells everybody that she's getting a divorce. And then they've been married for 10 years and they've already got the papers drawn up and they just haven't signed them yet. And he's he's been so negative all this time. And that's why she had wanted to divorce him. And she had stopped texting him because he stopped replying to her text messages. So she just gave up on texting him. And she explained how she erased that anger during during the course on Saturday. And 15 minutes after she erased the anger, he texted her out of nowhere said, and said, I love you, which was like, shocking. She's like, who is this person? And then he sent an emoji with like these fingers tapping. She's like, he's flirting with me on text. This is not my husband. <laughs> so so they, so they go to a concert that night and she's all dancing in the car while, you know, while driving. And she's like, oh great, here comes the negativity. So she looks at him and she says, I'm a big dork, huh? And he says, no, it's just that you're so beautiful. Someone is gonna snatch you up. And she says, you have never said that to me in 10 years of marriage. Why haven't you said that to me before? And he said, I don't know. So they have an amazing time. Apparently their sex life had not been a problem. And the next morning she's like, okay, I'm sure that was just a fluke. And today he's gonna go back to being negative. So she's getting all dressed up and he comes in and he says, so getting dressed up for a date, huh? She's like, I knew it, I knew it. She's like, yeah, I'm gonna go out after the seminar tonight. He's like, okay, well have fun. I'm wearing my, my dirty clothes. I'm, I'm gonna be mowing the lawn today. Have a good time. And she couldn't believe it. Like all the negativity was gone. And what mm -hmm. happened was her anger was matching with something in him. His negativity and her anger were like two magnets attracted to each other. And when she got rid of her anger, his negativity was deactivated and the real him could show up. And the real him was in love with her and thought she was beautiful and was able to even say so, but it was just blocked before that. And so by her taking responsibility and working on her own anger, that was how she transformed their relationship. And no, they're not getting a divorce. Wow. Well, I have to ask, cause you keep mentioning the word erase. How does one erase these emotions? Well, the process is seven basic steps. And if you think of your mind the unconscious mind being like a computer or your whole mind being like a computer, I can break down an overview of how the process works. It does take me three days to teach someone how to do it. 
I tried teaching it in two days. I actually originally tried teaching it in one hour. And I found that people didn't understand. And that there's a lot of background knowledge that needs to be taught first before you can really understand the implications. Because you're really learning how to change your whole life and change mm -hmm. what you're creating, what you're manifesting, and how to apply it to money and relationships. And there's just so much that goes into it. It takes three full days for me to get 100% of people to get it and be able to do it on their own, which is the most important thing. You can do it on your own. So the basic idea is your mind's like a computer. The conscious mind, what you're aware of is like what you can see on the screen. And then inside the computer, there are files on the hard drive that are stored. That's like the unconscious mind. Your unconscious mind physically is in your whole body. All the old things you've been through, all the old beliefs you were programmed with that were told to you, all the stuff you thought when you were five, it's stuck in the cells of your body physically. That's where the hard drive is. So the first thing you need to do if you want to erase something from the hard drive is to go inside the hard drive and look into the file folder. So like with Christy, I was like, how do you feel when you think about him being negative? And she got present to the anger. That's the first step. You have to find what you want to work on. Then you've got to go and uh, find out what's inside that file. You have to go in the folder and look at the coding, which is actually words. I just took an advanced class in physics and they talked about the nine dimensions. The ninth dimension is thought and it trickles all the way down to the atomic level and creates reality. Mm -hmm. And so what's inside the file folders are actual words. And this is why the Goran technique is different than so many others out there because they don't deal with the actual words. You can't tap away the words. You can't magnetize away the words. You actually mm -hmm. have to delete the words. And so that's what steps three and four are about, is going in and just deleting, deleting, deleting with the delete button on the computer, all of the actual code, all of the actual beliefs and thoughts, the actual words themselves with letters in them until you've deleted every single thing in that folder that you don't want, which sometimes is the entire folder. And then the fifth step is you've got to put something new there. If you erase your entire belief system around money, well, then what? What becomes your reality that you live into? Because you're literally erasing the, the root cause of reality. Like in, in the movie, The Matrix, Neo sees all of reality as coding. Well, if you erase all the coding, then there is no reality. So we have to put something in there. So if it's money, you know, maybe money loves me and I love money, something positive that you want to experience because that's gonna become your new automatic experience of life. And then step six is to um, make it permanent. So if you think about your computer, if you put things into the trash, you need to then empty the trash and then you restart the computer, which is going to sleep. And the next day you go and you look in the computer and make sure that you didn't miss any of it. And that's it. That's how simple it is. Mm -hmm. And once you get it, you'll want to tell everybody and you'll want to teach everybody. And I'd recommend that you have them go through the same process that you went through, which is go through the three day weekend online, watch all the videos and then do it with them because they need all that background information that you're going to get in the training. I love it. I mean, I dealt with a lot of people that are addicts, either it's food addiction or alcoholism or whatever it is. And if you have an addictive personality in general, you don't tell someone just to get rid of it, get rid of the bad stuff. You've got to give them something to fill that space. So it's, it's a, a very elementary, um, version of what you're talking about, right? And with food, get rid of the bad stuff. Well, you got to actually fill the fridge in the pantry with the healthy stuff so you don't feel deprived. And there's there's other things in there that you feel like, oh, I get to eat this. I get to do this. So um, Arno, we've got to take a short commercial break and we're going to come right back. I'm so excited. We're maybe even do a, a reading on me, but Absolutely. we will take a, a Quick break and be right back with Arnell.
Welcome back to Accelerated Health Radio and TV. I'm your host, Sarah Banta, the owner of Accelerated Health Products. And today we have Arno Goran. I am so excited to have you on. And before we get into my questions about you as a medical intuitive and muscle testing, which I want to talk about, there's a lot of people out there that say, just my luck. I never, and you touched on the money situation. I never can make money or I, it's always, um, it's just my luck that um, the stocks are going down that I get into or my house that I just bought lost value or these things keep happening to me. Can you talk about how to remove those blocks and how they are actually, that is what is causing the bad luck, quote unquote, instead of actual bad luck. Yes, yes. It's so empowering to take that same rule that I'm responsible for my reality and engage your your financial vibration with that. To think about your money in terms of why am I attracting this experience to myself instead of why do I have bad luck? Why am I being cursed? You can ask yourself, what is there inside of me? that's attracting this experience. And from there, you can start to recode reality. You can start to get rid of what T. Harbecker calls the money blueprint issues that you have. And people will run the same financial patterns their whole life, no matter how many courses they take, no matter how many books they read, no matter how many businesses they start, they end up with the same results because they haven't dealt with the real problem, which is what's going on inside of them emotionally and mentally. And so there's basic questions that I teach that can help you find what your programming is. In the Goran Technique Weekend, I call them the three magic questions. And I, I cover them pretty much in conjunction when I talk about, here's how you can apply this to money. Because that's where most people have a big need. I mean, people need to work on their relationships and their health, of course. But if you have financial stress, that's bad for your health too. So the three magic questions can help you find what you need to work on or what's inside of you that's attracting your your financial issues. Do you want to hear what they are? Yes, please. All right. <laughs> the first one is when you imagine your dream or your goal realized, like let's say you have a financial goal to increase your income to 10,000 a month. When you imagine that goal realized, how does it make you feel? Well, you should feel really excited and happy expecting it to come true. You should know it's happening already. It's already on its way. It's just a matter of time for it to manifest. But if you don't feel like that, you have discovered a blockage. If you feel sad or angry or afraid or any derivation of those negative emotions, what you have there is a blockage. What you have there is actually a magnet to attract that experience. So if you imagine having $10,000 a month of income and you feel nervousness in your tummy, you're going to attract the nervousness in your tummy instead. Mm. It's one of the laws of the universe. So that's the first magic question. The second magic question is, how does it make you feel that you don't already have that goal or you haven't already achieved that goal? When people say they have nothing to work on, I'm always happy all the time. I have nothing to work on. It's very easy to find something to work on. You know, we're really good at putting away our negative emotions and being positive all the time, which is a wonderful thing, except <laughs> then you never get rid of all the unconscious crap. So here's how I can trigger someone who says they don't get triggered at all. I just ask them, what's your number one goal in life? And they say, well, my number one goal is to make $10,000 a month of income. Okay, great. How does it make you feel that you haven't achieved that goal yet? And they will get triggered. And they will say, I feel angry, or I feel sad, or I feel like I want to give up, or I, I just feel a little bit of anxiety in my belly, but it's nothing. I, I, it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I understand that it's nothing, but let's go into that little bit of anxiety in your belly. Go inside there. How big is it? Well, it's like a big baseball. What color is it? It's about white. Okay. Do you realize that that anxiety is actually the reason why you haven't achieved it yet? Hmm. That's the reason why. So that's another blockage. And the third magic question is, how do you feel about your current circumstances? So if you think about your bank account and you get upset, you have just found uh, some stuff to work on. Because if you're resisting reality, you're holding it in space. You have to become neutral to the way things are in order for something new to come into existence. So those are the three magic questions. And we can give examples if you want. Please do. 
Okay, so I had a, an amazing client uh, named Suzanne who has a health center. And she's this incredible, positive, vibrant woman, and she signed up for my course, and then she called me and said, you know, I am taking the course because I want to use it to help other people, but I can't think of anything to use it on for myself. I really can't find anything to clear. And I said, okay, what's your number one goal in life? She's like, my number one goal is to expand my health center. And I said, okay, and how does it make you feel that you haven't done that yet? She said, well, I feel fine about it. I said, sure, are you sure? She's like, well, I feel a little bit overwhelmed. So, okay. She said, yeah, I feel overwhelmed because there's too much to do and not enough time to do it all. I said, okay. Now, where do you feel that feeling of being overwhelmed in your body? She said, in my tummy. I said, okay, I want you to go inside that feeling and tell me about what the size and shape is. She's like, mm, it's like, the, like a baseball. And I said, and if that feeling of overwhelm were closer to anger, fear, or sadness, which one would it be? She said, it's, it's fear, anxiety, right? I said, okay, so you have fear in your tummy that there's not enough time to do everything. She said, yeah. I said, okay, so that's what you can clear during the course. She said, okay. So then the week after the course, and she has an amazing couple of stories during the course of other things she found. But after the course, she emailed me and she said, Arno, I cleared that anxiety about not having enough time in my business. And when I went back to work on Monday and sat at my desk, everything just looked different to me. I felt like mm -hmm. I had plenty of time to do everything. And these opportunities came to me that I know probably were there before, I just couldn't see them. And so I jumped on them, and within one week, our business has gone from being in the red to being in the black. Wow. Uh -huh. Yeah. During that same weekend, I'll tell you one more quick one. There was a guy named Wayne there, and on Sunday morning, he was partnering with Vangelis, and they were clearing stuff, and then they were just laughing and laughing. So I walked over, and I said, so what are you clearing now? He's like, we just finished clearing something huge, and I feel great. I said, awesome. So what's your number one goal in life? And he's like, my number one goal is to make an income of $10,000 a month actually six thousand dollars a month after taxes and i said okay right I said okay so how does it make you feel you don't have that yet and he said um i feel really sad i said okay where do you feel the sadness and he's like it's down in my tummy area and not all the things are going to be in your tummy it just happen to be that way and i said what's the size and shape and he said it's like a big black basketball i said okay vangelis help him clear that so i went on to help other people and then we had that time to clear, and then we had lunch break. Then he came back after lunch and asked if he could share. And he gets up and he tells everybody that he has no money, he's been out of work for a year and a half, and all he has is $100 in his pocket. That's all the money he has in the whole world. And that he cleared his sadness about not being able to get a job and have the income that he wanted. And then during the lunch break, he got a phone call from a random number. You know, usually those are scammers, right? But he decided to answer it, and it was a job recruiter who gave him an impromptu interview during lunch in the restaurant. In the <laughs> this is a true story. I have it on video. <laughs> you can see it on my website. And, and then he said that they offered him a job that paid $10,400 a month, and then I calculated the after tax. It was $6,445 a month after taxes. And he, he was crying, and the whole audience was just blown away. And it doesn't always happen that fast. Sometimes you have many, many, many layers. Like for me, it was many layers. <laughs> it takes a long, like much longer for me than other people. But for him, it was just one layer, just one block is between him and his goal. And then boom, it showed up right away. Wow, what an amazing story. And as you're talking about, you, I, it remind, reminded me that I wanted to ask you, how do you know how many layers someone has to clear? Or is it just like peeling an onion and as you clear, then you know, then you're uncovering the other layers? Um, it, very good question. Sometimes you can see all the layers. Most of the time you can't because it can right. be a bit overwhelming if you have 300 layers of pain to go through before you get to your goal, which is why it's good to make milestone goals along the way. If you think of achieving a goal like driving a car to a destination, I'm taking this from that really good book, Asking It Is Given, then you can think of your blockages being like, or blockages as being trees and boulders on the road. Now, if you're up against a giant boulder, you may not be able to see any of the other boulders and trees behind it because it's just so huge, you can't see anything else. In other words, you're in so much pain, you can't even tell if there's anything else to clear. Mm -hmm. You just gotta get rid of that boulder. And like my brother said, most tools are like butter knives and spoons and yours are like jackhammers and dynamite. So you just blow up that boulder 
And then you're like, oh, now I can see five trees in the road. Well, there's five more layers. And then you go through those and you're like, oh, I don't see anything. And you're cruising along and you're cruising along and things start to move synchronistically in life mm -hmm. when you're not triggered and there's nothing in your way. And then you arrive at your destination. So you can intuitively sometimes get a good reading on how many layers there are. But in my experience, if you have a lot of layers, even your intuition isn't going to tell you the truth because it's better not to know and just keep plowing through. Yeah, I find that as well. I want to talk about muscle testing. I've been muscle tested by multiple people. And what's interesting is um, sometimes I try to get confirmation from two practitioners that both muscle test to see if they both agree. And there was one time that they didn't agree. And that was because I, it was explained to me that you could be muscle testing on a physical level, a mental level, a spiritual level, and all your different bodies. So I was wondering if first you could talk about what muscle testing is and then get into the detail of that. Yeah, absolutely. I'm very lucky. I, I have a good friend named Dr. Randy Freiberg that was a personal mentee of uh, Dr. Bob Marshall, who created Premier Research Labs products. Mm -hmm. And he used to shadow him for you know days and days and years and years. And he really taught me about muscle testing properly and how to do it right. And it didn't work for me. You know, I was a professional medical intuitive doing readings that were extremely accurate in 2004. And I had a best friend who would do readings and she would muscle test to verify her readings. And what, what is muscle testing? Well, that is um, testing the strength of any muscle in your body for a weak or a strong response. And your body can tell you if what like what's going on inside by giving you a weak or a strong response. And there's a lot of misinformation on the internet saying that it doesn't work. But actually, if you go to BDORT, um, that is B BDORT.org, that's a website where you can see a video sh explaining muscle testing. And Dr. Omura, who's uh, the creator of that video, he has a United States government patent on mm -hmm. his version of muscle testing, which they refused to give him because they thought it was hokey until he sent them a double blind study to prove that it's legit. So that's B like boy, D like David, O like octopus, R like Randy, um, B D O R T test. So T for test.org. Okay. By digital O ring test.org. So you can go there and you can watch the 45 minute video and it'll break it down for you in much more detail. So we don't have to spend our time on it now. But basically it's a way of testing the body for yes or no or weak or strong responses. And whenever I did it, it didn't work for me. Like you could you could muscle test, my name is Arno, and it would say no. And then it would say yes the very next try. <laughs> it was like, what the heck's going on? And when I met Randy, he taught us that if you have any head trauma or if you have a really, really weak uh, energy field, muscle testing will not work for you. You won't be able to test yourself or others. People who are strong will be able to test you. But see, I had a lot of head trauma. I told you I grew up in a crack house, right? I had, I had bottles flying off my head, stitches, and then I trained martial arts and I played football and I hit my head so many times. And when you have a blunt force trauma to the body, it creates an energy blockage called an interference field. Mm. You can measure by seeing that the electricity in that area of the body isn't as high as the rest of the body. So my whole head from like here up was just one giant interference field. So it was mm. all it was all messed up. And then I spent a few grand on getting every single one of my interference fields removed. And after I did that, I could muscle test perfectly accurately, like a champ, test anybody, anytime. And the real key to muscle testing, once you get your energy field working right, is to understand the same rule as you would use in intuition, which is to let go of your mind, put your mind on a shelf, as my protege Merritt would say, and just see what shows up. But if you have a predetermination in your mind of what the result is going to be, you can skew the test with your thoughts. Now, so one time I was in this course and they were teaching muscle testing. And I was with my friend, Dr. Ralph, not Dr. Randy, Dr. Ralph Umbriaco, who's done over 40,000 muscle tests on people. That's what he does with all his clients. He and his girlfriend and myself and my protege Merritt were there. And we tested this organic orange that Lori had got from her tree in her backyard. Okay. It's, perfectly healthy. We all tested the orange was healthy and strong. This guy comes over, and I, I'm not going to mention his name, 
And he comes up and he tests the orange and says, eh, it tests negative and walked away. How did it test negative for him when it tested positive for the four of us? He had already determined in his mind that it was going to test negative without even giving it a chance. And that's where muscle testing can get skewed is when people impose their beliefs onto it. And so if you're gonna be good at it, you've got to let go of whatever the results are gonna be and just see what shows up. Yeah, and that's what I was learning through the process um, and the bias. You know, I've been working with a, a machine that's called the SKIO machine and it scans 10,000 items in your body and you can test supplements or things on that machine and it takes out the, the human air. So it's really interesting when you when you compare the results from the machine to other practitioners and um, it's just, it's something that I'm starting to lean into um, as far as testing things or really understanding the energy of, of certain things when I'm around them and my intuition as to whether it's good for me or not good for me. So my own sense of um, muscle testing. As a medical intuitive, we're almost out of time. So I just wanted to say if there's anything that you wanted to say to me, obviously don't get into anything too personal, but um, <laughs> um, just quickly, is there, do you want to do a, a little medical intuitive reading? Sure, sure. I used to do medical intuitive readings and have clients get a skill uh, reading done, the skill machine back in 2004. And then we would compare them and they'd be the same. And I would say, well, do you think we found the real root causes? So that machine's awesome. Let's just see. So let's do a little reading for Sarah. So I, I don't know if I, I don't think I mentioned that I'm a reverend, I'm an ordained minister. I'm just gonna pray for you, Sarah. I'm just gonna pray to get clear answers for you and just be guided to tell you whatever it is that's in your highest and best good to know specifically about your health. So if you look into your um, solar plexus, you'll see that there is like a, an emotional turbulence there. And what that is, is um, it's old emotion that's trapped there. It's not mental. So there's four major tools of transformation we use. And one of them I learned from Dr. Randy Freiberg, which is called the emotional repolarization technique. And it releases the trapped emotion from the cells of your body, which is different than reprogramming the thoughts or the coding in the unconscious mind. So you have an ERT trapped in your solar plexus. Um, the ERT is, which one is it? I am loved, which is one of the most base ones because it'll clear huge amounts of emotion. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove it temporarily from you. But it's the first thing that's presenting, which means it's probably the number one priority for you to work on in your health. Now, when I take that out, your, your, your third chakra, your solar plexus did not start spinning because there's more stuff in there. I don't know if you can feel the difference before and after I took that ERT out. Mm -hmm. If we start looking, we're gonna see what else is in the third chakra. However, I wanna look at your head. Um, do you have, do you guys sometimes get headaches in your temples, like right here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like there's a spear, like right through your, mm -hmm your head. So the tool to get rid of that permanently is called the five steps. It's something that I created. It's also called the Garand Technique 2 because it's the second one. Um, basically, there's a past memory, whether it's from your ancestry or from your soul from before conception, where that happened. And, you know, uh, someone who is a, most intuitives would just remove it temporarily, like I'm going to do right now, and just take it out. And they'll say they have just done psychic surgery on you but it'll be back tomorrow or the next day. Um, you want to get rid of it permanently. And to do that, you need to learn how to go back in time to that experience and go through the five steps to uncreate it. Because that's what it is. It's a repeating pattern of creation. So let's see, what is that pattern causing? It's causing you to have the experience that you're under attack and that you're not safe because it was a surprise attack. And so there's this concern of uh, being surprise attacked, like, you know, some government or some person or some authority is just going to come and whack you. So Arnaud, I, I want to give everyone this um, feeling of I want to learn more and maybe we can do the finish it after the rest of the show. But we're almost out of time and I want to make sure people can find you and where to find you and how they can sign up on your program. Oh, great. 
Thank you for that, because I could have gone on for another hour. Just <laughs> <laughs> um, so my website is TotalHealthMasteryUSA.com. There it is on the screen. And my name's Arno. It's spelled A-R-N-O-U-X, like X-ray. As far as you know, if you type in my name, you'll find me. Um, you can go to my website. There's a free webinar there that you can take called Why Your Life Is The Way It Is, Ending Repeating Life Patterns. That's a good place to get started, TotalHealthMasteryUSA.com. Then you can sign up for the all my courses are all available online. You can start taking them right now and go as fast as you want. I have health courses. I have 29 courses. So Awesome. I'm going to be looking at that and I can't wait to talk to you and finish after the show. Thanks for joining us today. And thank you everyone else for joining us. I'm happy to help you. If you have any health issues, you can contact me directly through the website. Please hit the subscribe button and share this and all of my um uh, supplements and my shows with your friends and family that may need my help. Join us every week on Wednesdays at 8 a.m. Pacific time and have a great week.